all about the $100 billion King Abdullah economic city of Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is one of the most ambitious countries in the world, as well as the world's largest oil producer. And as we all know, having a lot of oil means having a lot of money. Saudi Arabia undoubtedly has a lot of money. Its government, the Saudi royal family, is the world's wealthiest royal family, even wealthier than the British royal family. However, the country's oil resources may not last forever, and the government will need a backup plan to keep their economy afloat. For this reason, the kingdom developed its Vision 2030, which highlights the nation's long-term goals and objectives, while also highlighting its strengths and potential. The vision calls for increased investments in real estate and infrastructure projects, which will help the kingdom build a solid industrial foundation to support its economy as oil supplies diminish. Building new cities is also one of the core development concepts, with the purpose of shaping a better urban future for all through events, research, and urban innovation projects. In today's video, we'll discuss the King Abdullah Economic City, one of these new cities that will assist the nation realize its vision 2030. The King Abdullah Economic City, Cake, is one of the four new towns on which the late monarch bet his country's future if the oil runs out. In true Saudi style, this is one of the most grandiose construction projects in the world. With a private financing budget of $100 billion, King Abdullah Economic City, Cake, is one of Saudi Arabia's largest single projects to date significantly exceeding other projects for master-planned cities worldwide. It's also the largest privately funded new city development in the world. The goal is to build a 2 million person city with one of the world's largest deep water ports. However, the cake will eventually consist of an industrial zone, central business district, a resort and facility area, residential areas, and academic and research centers. The city will also have 36 tourism and leisure projects, including 10 new hotels and resorts, the world-class golf course, zoos, amusement parks, exhibition centers, and equestrian trails. It's intended that the $100 billion metropolis will rival Dubai as a hub for international trade and tourism. But these ambitions may not be clouded in doubt as a continuing decline in oil prices worries the world's financial markets. It's also expected that the project, which is being built entirely from scratch around 100 kilometers north of Jeddah, will be as large as Washington, D.C. The city began in 2006 and will take approximately 20 years to complete. So let's say 2026, meaning it's still a work in progress. At the moment, only about 40% of the project, which consists of residential, industrial, and port facilities, has been completed. And there are only about 10,000 people living there altogether. Aside from the office and residential buildings in the main business center, the city's first major project was the building of a port, the state-of-the-art seaport, which is situated in a reasonably advantageous area of the Red Sea, has made import exports so effective and accommodating that it's already become one of the most popular ports in Saudi Arabia, and possibly one of the best ports in the entire world. By enabling business to grow, the port helps the city's economy become more prosperous, luring additional investors and residents in the process. However, the country's newest metropolis has not had an altogether smooth ride. Despite the fact that Cake is pronounced and operated by the private sector and is listed on the Saudi Stock Exchange, economic realities in the Gulf have hit home, necessitating a government loan in the midst of the present drop in oil prices and the general economic slowdown. The kingdom's rapid social development is also having an impact on what has become a volatile master plan. We're altered our plan four times already amidst Tarak Salatia, head of strategic planning, we may well need to have another rethink. The population of the KSA will rise from 30 to 50 million in the next 20 years. As a result, an additional 20 million people will need homes and employment. Cake anticipates a population of 2 million, implying that Saudi will require 10 similar cities to manage the expansion. The $500 billion Neom megacity is one of many future cities like this one that are being created in preparation for this population growth and in the direction of Vision 2030. Neom is a projected transnational smart city and economic zone near the Saudi-Egyptian border and will connect three continents. Do you think we should make a video about Neom? Well, hey, tell us in the comments. You may also subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos on futuristic architecture. And while you're at it, well, do well to give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.